The main reason seems to be that there are delays, uh, not enough rolling stock, and therefore you have a situation where things get backed up in order to meet their on-time targets, they just decide they're not going to stop at certain stations at certain times. Well, figures that we had really going back to April showed that there was a 63%, 63-64% drop, but that ain't so good for the 37% um, either. So the reasons seem to be varied. Some of it seems to be connecting to staff, but most of it seems to be connecting to the fact that there's just a, a squeeze on the, the resources in, in terms of having enough capacity on the line, whether that's rolling stock, whether that's uh, resources in terms of drivers and staff. But when you roll it all up together, it's not great when you go on a train expecting to go off at one stop, only to find that it just whizzes past and you're stranded at Edinburgh Waverley and you're left to figure out where do you go from there. I think it goes against the customer because they're paying for a service and then by skipping their stop they should actually be refunded the money. Um, I've been on trains before that have been running late at night and that I've missed my stop completely and I've left me like maybe like 15 miles away from my house and then I've had to pay my own way to get home via taxi and that's probably like £30. Pound. Um, I think they do it for a very good reason. That is, um, it may delay the people that are getting off in these stops or uh, people that are waiting but obviously there's other trains that will hold up if they don't uh, run in time. They, they need consistency in where they're going to stop or people are not going to use them.